what's up? It's Chris from Rocker Films, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to replace the sky in your videos. Now the only thing that you need to keep in mind when you're filming your video is you need to put your camera onto a tripod. Now once you have your footage, you need to get this onto the computer and load up Adobe After Effects. Once you're inside of Adobe After Effects and you have your video ready to go, you want to drop your video onto the timeline and then you want to drop an image of the sky onto your video as well. So we we'll go into the project tab and then we're just going to drop this cloudy image on top of the video. Now from here, I'm just going to scale this down and just put this in position so that it covers the whole of the frame. And then from here, you want to go up into the pen tool and you want to draw a mask around all of the buildings in the shot. Take your time with this and make sure you do a good job of this because the neater you do this, the more believable this effect is going to be. Awesome, and now from here, we can go back into the opacity and pull that up to a layer that we feel happy with. And now, as you can see, if I zoom into this mask, there is this white bleeding through around all of the buildings. So we're just gonna go into the masks, we're gonna pull up the feathering a touch, and then we can just reduce the mask expansion by negative 2%. And then that's gonna really help to fade that image. Now from here, we just need to blend the sky with the image so that it looks like it's part of the same environment. So we go into effects and presets, search for levels, and then we're gonna drop levels onto that image, and then just pull up the brightness a small amount. Now from here, we're just gonna create a new adjustment layer, and we're gonna create a rectangle mask around the top half of the video. And now we're gonna add levels to this layer again, and this is just to add more brightness to the buildings around the sky. So we'll drop levels on top of that again, pull up the brightness, and then we'll go into the mask on the adjustment layer, and we're just gonna pull the feathering up once more. Now we just need to go into effects and presets and we just need to search for tint and then we'll drop tint on top of the image of the clouds. And the purpose of this is to match the color of the water to the color of the sky. Typically the two mirror each other so we want to try and blend these so that they match really nicely. So in tint we want to map the black and the white to a color similar to the sky and then we just want to pull this down to a smaller number so I'm going to go for around 30%. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and push that bell icon to stay updated on all future uploads. Thank you ever so much for watching. I really do truly appreciate it. I hope you're having the most incredible day today. I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.